Stan Jibalisco here with a little bit of information from my book Alternative Energy Demystified 2nd Edition, a link to which I will provide in the description of this video, the Amazon.com page. You can actually go to that link and then get a little preview of the interior of the book, courtesy of Amazon, so that you can decide whether or not you want to buy it. But this uh, particular little bit of information involves chapter 12. And what you're looking at right now is figure 12-7, which shows the orientation of solar panels for different seasons of the year. Optimal orientation of solar panels. Uh, you should always face them generally towards the south in the northern hemisphere or towards the north in the southern hemisphere. But you have certain angles that are optimal for the low trajectory season, the medium trajectory season, and the high trajectory season of the sun. And what do I mean exactly by that? Well, in figure 12-7a, this is a good year-round panel position, a good average position that if you just want to fix your solar panel, orient it generally towards the equator, that would be south in the northern hemisphere, or north in the southern hemisphere, and then adjust the angle at which the solar panel lies, the plane of the solar panel should lie at a certain angle with respect to the zenith, that angle X should be set to 90 degrees minus your latitude. In this case, it would be north latitude. So if you are at, say, 44 degrees, like I am here in the Black Hills of South Dakota, this angle X would be 46 degrees. The greater the angle here, the more nearly horizontal the solar panel is. <clears throat> now for generally low trajectory, uh, low solar trajectory seasons. That would be the fall and the winter, generally from late September through late March in the northern hemisphere, or from late March to late September in the southern hemisphere. This angle, Y, which is the same angle, the angle of the plane of the solar panel with respect to the zenith, should generally be set to 78 degrees minus your latitude. So if I am at 44 degrees, then 78 minus 44, 34 degrees is a good average position, good average angle, so that this thing will get the most possible energy averaged over time from the sun. If you're at a different latitude, say, say you are in Miami, Florida, at 26 degrees north latitude, then 78 minus 26 gives you 52 degrees, which would look more nearly actually like this illustration C here, but that would be the angle for the low trajectory season. Now, in the high trajectory season, that's the part of the year when the sun is north of the celestial equator in the northern hemisphere roughly from late March through late September and in the southern hemisphere from late September through late March that would be spring and summer the arrangement shown at C is optimal now in that case you would adjust the panel to 102 degrees minus your latitude. I calculate for my own latitude 102 minus 44. 58 degrees would be this angle Z right here. In the case of Miami, Florida at 26, well let's say Los Angeles, California at roughly 34 degrees north latitude. 102 minus 34, 68 degrees would be the angle that you'd want to set that thing at. 
So, that's your best bet here. Now, you notice at the equator, if you were actually at the equator, this angle, this overall average year-round position would be a perfectly flat horizontal solar panel. For the, for the low trajectory season, that doesn't really apply. When the sun is south of the celestial equator, you would adjust this thing to 78 minus your latitude, or 78 degrees. It would look about like that. And 102 degrees would place it actually more like this at the equator during the summer in the northern hemisphere. So you can use that information in my book, Alternative Energy Demystified, second edition. The cover looks like this, and again I will provide a link to this book's Amazon page in the description of this video. There's a lot of cool stuff in there, a lot of interesting information. I try to remain unbiased. Stan Jibalisco, signing off. Until next time, so long.